Hello and welcome. You guys recommended I check out Chester Bennington's cover of Rolling in the Deep. So today we're gonna be doing a deep dive into this performance. I have not heard it yet. This is one of my favorite songs and I absolutely adore Chester Bennington as a vocalist. So I'm really, really excited to take a listen. Let's dive in. There's a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark there you go. Dark. Big. I see you, Crystal. Go ahead and send And stays intense. Ooh. Oh, loving the arrangement, too. Don't underestimate the things that I will do. There's a fire. Stop. This is so good. And we had that little flip there. So before it was reaching, like it was big and then reaching. Like, so he he narrowed the shape a little bit. So it was like lighter and it made the sound a little more delicate. And again, my ears went, oh, what, what did he do? So if you back, I'm just gonna back this up a tiny little bit so you can hear that reaching. My heart, reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark. Ooh. The skies of your love remind so we're getting those sort of like glottal stops. So the stars of your love remind me of us. So you can kind of hear him connecting. You almost get like a bit of a vocal fry moment there. Let's keep going. They keep me thinking that we almost had it all. The skies of your love I'm really excited for the chorus. Me breathless. I can't Oh my gosh. But you played it to the beat. Okay, so I, I've actually never watched or listened to a live performance um, from Chester, and it's like a little bit emotional at this point almost. This this absolute like talent and skill here are insane. This is such beautiful singing. Um, it's balanced. The chorus is powerful. There's this perfect um, marriage of intensity and emotion and rawness with like incredible vocal technique that's happening. And the expressions on his face, like how invested he is in this, in this performance is just, oof. And I love like the stripped down, just keys and his vocal. Clearly the crowd likes it too. He stays intense. Uh, a little vocal fry on there. See me in the depths of your despair. Making a home down King. there. That's it. Let's sit left. The skies of your And it, he's building tension. He's not getting too intense. So it kind of builds and then comes back. Building, building, building. Okay, so if you can see the shape of his mouth, like you can see the vibrato happening, like you can visibly see it. And he's got this perfect shape, the tongue is relaxed. Uh, I'm gonna back it up tiny, you can only, I'm talking so fast, I'm not actually forming words properly. That's how excited I am about this performance. <laughs> Watch his mouth as he goes into this chorus. I can't hard it is to sing the E vowel in this song. So if you've never sung Rollin' in the Deep, as soon as you get to the E, it's so easy for the whole train to come off the tracks. But Chester's nailing it. Rollin' in the deep. Like it's not flipping, it's not disconnecting, it's not over compressing, it's not deep, it's deep. It's And hear the difference. I, st I can't believe this is live vocals. Well, I can't, but I can't. The way he's getting through the word side, it's not side, it's not, it's not flipped, it's side. And he's got the vibrato happening. Nothing's tight or tense. The quality, I think this is what I'm noticing, the quality of the sound here. 
So good. Little vocal fry there on the U. And there we get a little bit of distortion. So there, this is, it's really important to mention if you're a singer and if you've taken vocal training, you know, we do all of this work to develop our voices, to find balance, to sing with ease, to eliminate our break, to do everything right. But then when you get into a performance like this, it's so important that you allow space for emotion and portraying emotion and authenticity in a vocal performance, it sometimes takes over doing things correctly. Like it would be more important that you get a little bit of distortion, that you get a little bit of grit, maybe you get a little bit of tension um, to show what it is that you're feeling when you're singing this. And this is what Chester is doing so brilliantly um, in this performance. But you with a little cry there. And singing that right into a closed mouth shape. Please don't be the end. I don't want this to be the end. More goosebumps. This is just a piano and a voice, and it's so intense. Throw your song through every open door. Count your blessings to find what you're looking for. And so there is this use of this more of like a closed bass here. So blessings, we sing into the ing, and you can kind of see that he's singing into a bit more of a smiley shape here, and that just gives like a really cool sound and texture. Pay attention to the shapes he's making with his mouth as you watch him sing, and see if you can notice if he's got more of a closed shape or more of an open shape, and what his lips are doing. Turn my sound into treasure gold. I wasn't expecting that, it was so good. No. No. up high using like a head voice sort of falsetto thing happening there and I didn't think he was going to do it because that's like really hard to attain that balance so it's almost like walking on like a tightrope so it's like you have to hit those notes perfectly with just the right amount of balance and you have to remember he's singing live so like you know there's the intensity I don't know what he sang before this I don't know like what's happening but to maintain that level of vocal control and focus in a live performance it's crazy and it was so good I'm going to back that up a tiny little bit because then he goes lower and now we're in more of a chest voice place and now we have the ability to connect with like a little more intensity and use vocal fry to get him back into that lower part of his voice still getting vibrato this is crazy. I'm out of breath just listening. Okay, so I didn't really want that performance to end. Um, and I don't think I was actually fully prepared for what I heard. And I think it's like I had assumptions having only heard Chester Bennington in the context of Lincoln Park, which is really intense um, music. And, you know, vocally, I just, you kind of just assume like, well, they're probably like really tense and, you know, thrashing on their voice. That's absolutely not the case. And this is the second time that I've been proved wrong. <laughs> um, you know, the first time it was with Disturbed's cover of Sound of Silence. Like the, the vocal excellence um, here is, blowing my expectations out of the water. Um, and I'm so thankful, thank you, for suggesting this song. I feel like life is now, like wouldn't have been complete had I not heard this. So what we have here is an, an incredibly skilled vocalist um, who is balancing vocal technique with real raw emotion to create an unforgettable performance. So, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you could tell me if you're a Tester Bennington fan. Um, 
a little bit about his vocal history, if you know if he had vocal training, formal vocal coaching, or if this is just his voice. Um, he certainly was an absolutely incredible vocalist. I'm gonna be listening to this again and again and again. Um, some things for you to keep in mind. I would love to encourage you to go back and listen again. Having heard some of my reactions, I would be interested to hear what your reactions are. What style techniques do you hear being used here? I noticed vocal fry, I noticed vibrato. There was a little spot where I heard a cry. I heard like a head voice falsetto. I heard a really clever um, re-entry into a chest voice. I saw really good shapes, lots of space for those bigger notes. And then I saw some of those more emotional moments where you, you got some of the tension in the neck and you could really see um, the intensity of what he was singing. Um, and I've, it's very rare to see a performance where you get that, um, that level of intensity and emotion without a vocal that's suffering. I didn't hear his voice fatigue out really at any point in this song. Um, it was amazing. So <laughs> go take another listen. This is, this is a really, really special performance. Um, comment below. I would love to hear from you on your thoughts on this and uh, happy singing.